Hello again. Happy Tuesday. Now, what we're looking at is a time lapse over the past six hours of the rain that moved through West Texas today. As you see by now, pretty much our whole viewing area is rain free and we're getting a chance to dry out before we go through the, get to the overnight hours. Current temperatures in the Concha Valley are in the lower to mid 40s. A few places to name Sonora and El Dorado, both at 42 right now. It's 44 in San Angelo, 46 in Merton. As you get towards the big country, we're seeing some lower 40s, but also some upper 40s, lower 50s, 51 up in Roby, 49 in Sweetwater. Some cooler places right now with increased cloud cover, Brady and Mason, both 39 degrees. And then over to our West Midland, sitting at 50 degrees on a dot. Tonight is going to be another night where we teeter on the freezing line, looking to make it to 32 degrees here in San Angelo with partly cloudy skies and a pretty calm wind coming from the south at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow is going to be a lot warmer than today was, reaching the mid to upper 60s. We're looking to make it to 68 degrees in San Angelo and 66 in Abilene. Over in the big country, we're seeing a lot of places, well, big country and Concha Valley expecting to make it to 66 degrees today. And the places not making it to 66 are going to make it to 68 degrees. And as early as Thursday, we can be back in the 70s as we have a three-day warming trend ahead of our next cold front coming this weekend. Once that front comes, we're going to get shot right back down to the 50s before we start to warm back up, picking back up into the 60s by Sunday going into our work week next week. As you see over the next seven days, we're looking at pretty sunny conditions throughout the forecast period. We'll peak at the mid 70s on Friday before that cold front comes. We'll see two more nights of freezing after that cold front before we make it above the freeze line Monday night peaking at the um, upper 60s by this time next week. Abilene actually getting a little warmer this time next week, getting to the lower 70s. Back to you, Tim.